All right, today let's talk about this Palomar 35A that is in good condition. Not mint, not excellent, but but good. You know, you can see it's been tightened a little much up here, and it's got a little, little bit of wear on the corners. And then these two fans look like they're just a touch tweaked. Somebody could probably bend those back if they cared to, if they cared much. Could could use a good wipe down, but. That's for the new owner. I don't have time for that. <laughs> I've got too too many other pieces to sell. Uh, one thing I will say is preamp definitely works. Strong preamp on it. Uh, it's got a high, medium, low. And then for those that don't know, you can use this as a uh, uh, power supply to run the radio that's going to go into this thing. One thing I will say about these is that uh, when it comes to uh, the power supply, when it says 35, I would say that's kind of generous. I would not go taxing this thing because the rectifiers in them will let go. And you'll be getting it fixed if you try to uh, really put a load on this thing. Um, but it's good for, you know, a, a radio or a little amp, two pill or something if you're wanting to test it. Um, but uh, I wouldn't go go crazy on it. Seen far too many uh, need the power supply repaired in them. So that being said, um, we'll see what this thing can do. I'm not going to go through the whole spiel. By the way, important thing to note is this reset here. If you ever turn it on and and something doesn't work on this side, just press that reset. Uh, sometimes that'll happen if you like uh, uh, unplug it while it's on or. I'm not sure what circumstances, but it seems to happen to me relatively frequently when I've had these in the past. So, uh, that being said, we're going to be driving it with a 44V, which is also for sale. And I'm not, I mean, I've got variable power, so I don't know where it's going to key, but not that concerned. Oh, yeah. Oh, deal. So about 75, call it 80, maybe a little less. Swinging 500 right there without too much trouble. We're on a 1,000 watt scale, so that would be 500 there, that that mark. So, oh, deal. It sits just right before it. All right. So just a touch under five there. And, uh, yeah, these are great, great amps, man. And then if you get something bigger, you can always use this as a driver. If you've got a 3.2, 500Z or something, or I don't know. I've just always had a thing for these amps, but, uh, I'll take 275 on this one. 275. You know, it is plug in the wall 110. And, uh, yeah, to make somebody a good one. 73s, guys.